Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle giant boxing. Holly, what'd you think? Good fight, you know, good tactical fight. Um, you know, Canelo eventually got to him in the end, but it was a good tactical fight. He is. Obviously, he boxed very well. I, I, I thought he could have shown a little more killer instinct to get Canelo's respect. How high? He uh, maybe throws a couple more lengthy combinations because he does have the speed to do it. He did it once at the end of one of the rounds, but I think that would have got Canelo's respect a little bit better. But he fenced very well. It was like a fencing match. He was ta very tactical. Caleb's brilliant tactically. I thought he was fencing. It was like a fencing match, kind of a touch and go, very, very well. But in the end, Canelo was making the fight, and he got to him. You know? What you make of him? Making history as the first oldest super middleweight in history. I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous accomplishment, man. You know, you got to give him credit. You know, uh, uh, not first of anything is a lot of credit, it would, it would, especially if it's a positive thing. You know, like like this. You know, and uh, I think there's. Uh, a lot of options for him uh, at this weight and other weights, you know. I'd like to see him defend the title, just so I think it would be cool to hear him announce as the Undisputed World Champion, you know, I think any fighter would really like that. Um, but yeah, he fought a good fight, and in the end, uh, he caught up to Caleb. You know, I was starting to kind of think it was going to go the distance, uh, but he got he caught up to him. Um, I like to see the Charlo fight, but I think business-wise, probably the Ben Benavides fight gets made. But I like to see Charlo. Uh, um, I think Charlo's, you know, is his biggest rival. You know, uh, in, in a weight class where he's more natural. You know, like uh, 68 or 60. I think, I think at 75, guys start getting too big for Canelo, and I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't criticize him even if he lost. You know, I think it's too big. For him. But at 60 and 68, you know, I, I, I think, you know, it's very tough to find a, an, an opponent that's gonna beat him. You know, Benavidez make it fun. But I, I, I think the, the biggest threat is probably Charlo. Canelo versus Canelo, 168. Canelo versus who? Canelo versus Charlo, 168. I think it's a, I think it's a badass fight. I think it's a badass fight. But business-wise, I think the Benavides fight probably gets bigger because it's Mexican versus Mexican, and Benavides is an excellent fighter himself. So, um, from a personal perspective, I, listen, I think both guys deserve it. But I'd like to personally see Charlo get the shot first. I think just from a tactical perspective, it's a, it's, it's an interesting fight, and I, and I, and I'm. I really rate Charles, so let's see. Any last message, Polly, before I let you go? Nah, that's it. That's about it. Polly, sorry.